as you all can see from this screen recording, if you had actually bought 38,000 units of USD JPY at 132.141 you would be up approximately six hundred now eighty two dollars and forty three cents I can explain this. Did you? Nah, I just had a bottle. Nah, there's somebody else in my bottle right there. Yeah. Let's see if I can break down this trade right quick. Okay. Started off by plotting some support and resistance on the weekly charts. As you all can see, price was in an uptrend, major uptrend. From down here, about one oh. One or one or two all the way up to damn one fifty two. Once it got to that one hundred fifty two level, it started to calm down. If I had, I'm going to go to the monthly time frame for this. <laughs> well, nah, let me go back to the weekly. And I'm going to turn my phone horizontally so we can see this thing much better. And zoom in. That's not how I did it. Um, what I saw was this bearish red candlestick followed by this bullish green candlestick which appears to be an inside bar meaning the body of this bullish green candle closed inside of the body of this bearish red candlestick which signals a sign of a of a reversal 
so with that being the case, I went to the daily time frame to see what kind of price um, action I had. some kind of restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you work from? Nah, I'm off for the next three. I'm off for the next three. I'm on, I missed that, uh, was that about 170, 150, 160? Yeah. Down by about three, 350, but. You ready back? Yeah, I'm about back. This, bro, this, this bronchitis, man, ain't nothing to play with. Alright, but as you look to the daily, you see that price was in a strong downtrend <coughs> through your lower highs. trend change from down to up. Alright, if you were a, a breakout trader, you would have entered If you were an aggressive trader, you would have entered on this higher low, which is also a trend change confirmation. And although price pulled back, here. Form this long wick bearish candle with a small body, then you can say an engulfing candle because the body of this candle right here, this bullish one does engulf me. contains the body of this small long wick bearish candle within it uh, 
Yeah. You still would have uh, gotten in at a good price. <laughs> and with price rallying the way that it did, you could yeah, you could have possibly right here, yeah, you could have you could have possibly been up more had you gotten in right there, but I'm a pullback trader. I don't like uh, <clears throat> to trade breakouts. Why? First and foremost, you can't be sure that a breakout is certain because you have what's called false breakouts is where a price like price did here broke out a resistance then it continues down so i waited for the breakout then with these one two three four candles the pull back and the confirmation right here that the trend was going to continue upward before I entered uh, the trade. And price now is in the uptrend. some of the line right here. I'm getting to the point where now through demo trading I don't have to draw all of these lines on the chart <clears throat> I can just use raw price action meaning let me see if I delete all these lines I don't want to delete all my lines but let's say let's just do this for now I'm going to delete these three for yeah. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where now I can do just use raw price action uh to see what's actually going on on the chart. Y'all remember me having that line drawn in right here? Let me know that price was in a downtrend by connecting the highs. Because me get because of me getting better at price action, just looking at the charts and seeing what's going on. I can delete those and you know tell you that price at this particular point in time was in the downtrend. Then when I saw this high or low, <coughs> and high I 
ya price had reversed from an uptrend pardon me from a downtrend to an uptrend but like i said i would have not entered the trade there because it's simply a break let me draw this line right here oh resistance So price pull back. And after this this bearish engulfing candle, pardon me, this bullish engulfing candle. Um, that's what I'm gonna call it because like I said the uh, full body of that this greenish candle has the full body of this side of it that's when I enter the trade and if you draw a line here you see that you now <coughs> have Another high or low, and price is <laughs> trending upward. still demo trading I'm not going to get into the live trading until after uh, I've gotten a strong hold on this demo trading which to me <coughs> from my perspective is necessary if you want to be a successful live trader like I intend to be soon. Right. Just in case you wonder what I'm doing, just putting my uh, support and resistance lines back that I deleted earlier to show you all how I 
I use them to help me when I'm trading the daily charts. It's a downtrend. Uh -huh. I use red for my um, resistance line. If it's a uptrend. that already cool green cross we bullish now I go back to the weekly yeah got you high up here at the top at about 51.947 a low right here just say that <coughs> I entered the trade that like on the chart right here one three two point one four one um I think I had my stop loss down here originally at one two nine point Eight something, but you guys price begin to move with momentum through these bullish green candlesticks. I started to move my stop loss up <coughs> just in case price reversed and then come back down. I would have some profits locked in already. So if my stop loss was originally right here, um, I would have gone to the eight hour time frame. Let's see now on that one. The four hour time frame. Yeah, I think this is where I started moving it up. Uh, after price made this higher high, this higher low, I moved my stop loss up right there. So if price reversed and came back down, I would have locked in some profits already. After it made another higher high and another higher low. I moved it up to where it's set now. <coughs> so just in case price reversed, I would have some profits locked in. Uh, it appears as though price One three four point three five six with this bullish momentum candle. So see if we get a short term pull back.
And if that's the case, I'll wait for another high. Yeah, high. Then trail my then trail my stop loss up some more. Until we get to perhaps my take profit of 137.717, which would net me how much on this trade? Approximately fifteen hundred seventy-four dollars. <coughs> yep. And that's all for now. I'll show y'all what I saw on the charts from price action on the weekly to price action on the daily where price on the weekly got close to one of my key support levels on the <coughs> weekly <coughs> And started to form multiple green bullish candlesticks. So I went to the daily to see what was going on. And I noticed that although price had been in a downtrend, we ended up getting. a higher high to form here then a higher low then confirmation through this bullish calendar right here that price will continue up with <laughs> So I entered the trade, set my stop loss at originally 129.7, some like 480 something pips. And I think I did a one for a two to one, four, eight, so we doubled at six, Six, nine, six, about a thousand, about a thousand, looking at about a thousand pips. Yeah. I could actually target this zone up here for my take profit, which is what. I probably might do since it is well price on the weekly reversed from you know, it came up to it, then it bit back down. So I might, I might. It all depends. It all depends. Oh, then again. Like we got somewhat of resistance right here. It's a 
some of a support level right here. <coughs> they say support. Once price breaks through support like it did, it has a tendency to act as resistance. Which it did right here. Let's go to the daily and see what's going on right there. Alright, so right price broke through support. The support right there, you see your your low right here. There's resistance right there. See, price broke through support, came back up and it tested it one, two, three times. Then it went down further. Okay, so instead of the team you see this level here like I was just thinking about on the weekly I'm gonna target this one right here which is where I believe I, I said it at yeah yeah perfect for now so y'all can see what happened and price as we speak is gaining a little momentum I'm going to let that go and I'm going to stop this recording and let y'all feast y'all eyes on if you want to